If you're using PMB Modern Search and you're customizing your templates, but it's all still baked into the web part, let me show you a great way to store that in a more secure location and it allows for reuse. So I'm back in my people directory solution that I was building over the course of the PMP series. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, if you remember, uh, and if you haven't, I'll have a link at the end of this video to that whole series, but we were building out this entire template here. This is using the PMP search results web part, and we have a heavily customized results template here with a lot of extra stuff in here. And what we want to do at this point is we want to save this into a file so that we could reuse this somewhere else in the environment or maybe just to have a nice safe backup copy of this thing so that if somebody deletes the web part or just screws around with the results template, we don't necessarily have to restore the file to get this back. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna go into the SharePoint Admin Center and I'm gonna create a new site for this. I'll use a communication site, but really any of them are gonna work. I'll just call this PNP templates and I'll set myself as the owner and we'll just wait for this to get created. Let's go into this and we don't need to really design this thing. This is just going to house our templates for uh, all of our PNP search results or anything else we need to store in here, but specifically the PNP search results. I'm going to create a new library. And if I can spell it right, PNP templates. So we've got a brand new library. Now what we want to do is go back to our people directory and I'm just going to do a select all and copy everything here. And then we're gonna save it in Notepad. So I'll bring up Notepad and we'll paste it in here. And then we're just gonna save this. peopledirectory.html, that'll be fine. And then we're gonna go into our template library and upload this file. Okay, great, now the file is out there. Here's what we need to do. You want to make sure that this site, or at least this library, is accessible by everyone in your organization. So we can go into the permissions, and you should all know how to manage permissions, but just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to grant permission to everyone in my organization. Make sure to turn off the invite. Make sure that the permission level is read because their browsers are gonna to need to be able to pull this file, but we don't want them to go to the site. So they'll have access to this library now, even though they won't know it's there. And what we can do is go back to the library so that we can grab this URL. Now back in the people directory, we're just gonna delete everything in here, click save, and then go to the external template URL option right below our results template, and just specify the location of that template. Republish the file, and everything is back. So we've moved our template content outside of the web part and stored them securely in a library where nothing can happen to it, ideally, and our web part still works. So now our template is saved, but what's not saved is the custom options that we use in our layout. In this example, we used a people card layout, and then we customized those card slot values to be able to show our custom icons. The call icon, the message, and the email icon were all added to the layout slots, which is not part of that template that we just saved. So here's how to export that and keep it safe as well. So back in our search results web part properties, we're gonna to go to the last page. We're gonna to go to import export, and we're gonna click on export. This is gonna download the JSON file that has all of our properties in here, including our layout properties that you could see here. This should be saved somewhere else outside of this site. You could put it in the PNP templates site that we just created and probably just stick it into a different library to keep it separated because users will not need access to this. But if you want to make sure that everything gets put back on here correctly, then you can grab that file and import it using the import option here. So if you've just got a straight custom handlebar template and you need to export it, then you use that first option. But if you use any of the other layout options like the people layout, then and then you customize the layout slots, then that's all gonna be part of the configuration. You're gonna wanna export that file, possibly in addition to your template file, and then save that so that it can be reused. 
Now what this does do is it gives you a lot of reusability within the environment. You can take that same template and configuration that we've exported and you can use that anywhere in your environment that needs that particular functionality. So you have one template, you have one configuration and this can be used anywhere. And if you're looking to find this template somewhere and use it in one of your own projects, I'll make it available online. So check the description below for the link to get this template and, uh, and start using it however you would like. So this was just a fun tip that I wanted to give everybody uh, to, you know, start adapting their PNP Modern Search solutions and get a little bit more enterprisey, I guess you could say. So uh, if you're still getting started with PNP Modern Search, then check up into this corner for the video that will get you started with the whole series.